Capricorn, welcome to your reading. I'm just trying to get myself comfortable here. My name's Clive, you're watching Emery's Tarot. It's a great pleasure to be here for you. Now, the energies of these in these general readings, Sun, Moon, Rising readings, okay, they're very fluidic. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of pull a Celtic cross energy here, uh, spread so that we can get the energies around you and what's approaching you, kind of your reaction towards this situation. So let's see, without further ado, please take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. Let it resonate naturally. If you kind of try and make it fit, it'll only bring you to a wrong conclusion. If this video doesn't resonate naturally, perhaps a later one will. I hope you stick around. Here we go. Capricorn, what's going on for you? Straight off the bat, the full card. Three of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, I'll talk to you, but let's see how it goes. Eight of Cups. There's certainly a detachment from a situation here that's been going on for a long, long time. Kind of getting there's a fresh start here for you. The star card, your wishes are certainly coming true. Nine of Cups, things really picking up for you, especially emotionally. The temperance, overcoming that zealous nature and just jumping in without thinking. You do want independence from a situation. You're only looking towards the future. For some of you, you're dealing with a soulmate. It's kind of like, emotionally, it's a process of elimination. This has not happened overnight. I'm not getting you... I'm, you've not woken up one day and said, OK, this is finished. Without any thought, without any preconceptions. This has been building up. OK. Soulmate energy. Now, my view on soulmates, okay, twin flames, or any relationship for that matter, they're meant to be in your life, from my point of view, from my humble point of view, for a certain fixed time. And with every relationship, it's kind of enjoy it while you can. If you, if there's a tendency to put an image in your head, oh, things are great, soulmate, twin flame, pina coladas on the beach, watching sunsets forevermore, the kids, the dog, the cat, the nine-to-five job, forevermore. No, this is the person you learn most about yourself from. And it's not a license to automatically think that this person is going to be in your life forever. Sounds a bit brutal, doesn't it? But the universe is totally indifferent. It's, it's all about spiritual growth. It's all about your connection with yourself and the, with the universe. And sometimes it's quite painful. We have to accept that somebody sometimes is no longer in our life. Okay. And there's always an adjustment period. But, you know, whether there's a bad relationship or a good relationship or something finishes naturally and you move on into a different life completely, even with different people, you know, it's, you know, the people we've ever met, you know, with any, to any depth, they always stay with us forever and they change us forever. And this is, this is to me, what life's all about. Self-growth. Mm. You know, I, I personally feel mankind's lost his way, he's lost his spirituality, his drive. You know, it's, it's all money, money, money and power nowadays. You know, it's, uh, you know, I'm hoping humanity one day will uh, find his way again reconnect with himself but hey ho that's that's not really a tangent that's that's kind of the energy i'm getting around this situation you know you know there is a situation you're leaving perhaps on you've been disconnecting emotionally you feel it's run its course there's a fresh start here but there is this tendency to have that oh it's a great opportunity this can heal me from the past no it can't it can help but you'll still only heal from the past You know, when your karmic line gets to that point, it's unique to you. It's like your fingerprint, it's like your retina scan. Your karmic line, you move through the spiritual plane of life at a certain place, and you can't heal that. You can put kind of metaphorical antibiotics on it, okay, to stop it getting infected any further, but it will still only heal when it wants to heal. Because I'm getting a lot of healing now. You, you've, you've gone through complete change within you. And those changes aren't quite finished yet. Okay. 
I'm sorry if this is sounding a bit like a lecture, but I'm kind of when I'm this is to me is a very connected reading. Well, all my readings are very connected, but I'm just in auto mode. There's like this invisible cord. I'm being told what to say. I'm kind of in auto mode. I'm not really thinking about what I'm saying, but there is this kind of a range thing between you two making plans. But you are certainly in the process of breaking free from a situation, bringing finally at least practical conclusions to a situation, whether it's a work situation or a marriage or love situation, dating or whatever. There's a change of lifestyles here. And because it's new and exciting and bringing in new opportunities, there is kind of that human nature to just jump in. Mm. You've certainly got faith in yourself. But this is a big thing you're going through, especially spiritual. You want to be in a place that you feel practical. Of course, we all do. We like to. Me, I'm very comfortable. I'm not earning... You know, monetary-wise, I'm. You know, I'm not commercial. Yes, I charge for my readings, but I have to live. This is my sole income. But you know, I I don't get what you call greedy. You know, I could, I could charge a lot more for my readings and get it, but I don't. I keep it on that balance between spirituality and money. Yeah, it gives me a great lifestyle. I love it. Yeah, I'm not really doing a day's work in my life. And the reason I said that is because, you know, you're you're in this kind of energy of bringing spiritual balance with practical issues. You want to be in a place where you feel you can just be you without having to work at it all the time. But you you have come full circle on yourself. And there's a, there's a relationship here or a situation that's come full circle. But the difference is you have changed and your attitude toward it towards it has changed but they they kind of there's been a situation where a connection here where because of what's going been going on in the background they either wouldn't commit or couldn't commit now perhaps they were married but they were certainly very well reserved they were kind of imposing restrictions on their self but there's this happy energy between you two all right. What I'm getting is there's a soulmate connection here, but you're not actually together yet. All right. And it requires irrevocable change in attitude. It requires actually, let's see how, how we can work this out. Why is this full card here, please? There's been a lot of healing... A lot of healing going on. Emperor, you're taking charge. Yeah, you're certainly... You're certainly in this energy of leaving a past situation behind and looking forward to the future. You're no longer looking back. You're determined. Okay, but you are you are in this energy of getting control of your life. You, The pent-up energy in you, the pent-up thoughts are all coming out. You're in the mood for speaking the truth. You are really taking on the responsibility for yourself. Well, that's great. You are really here willing to cut your losses to get what it is you want. But I get this feeling of starting from scratch. Mm. Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? You know, what I'm getting here is there is a separation, but I'm kind of getting you're, you're, you're okay with it. Ten of Cups, Sun card, yeah. Now, perhaps you have been disconnected from somebody you've been carrying a torch for, and now everything's coming to fruition. Wow. But with that choice does come a bit of stress. Forgiveness. The feeling of deja vu, the feeling as... Is this going to be really worth it? Only you will know that. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Four of mm, Pentacles. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of holding back. Like I say, somebody, either you or the person you're dealing with, you know, I couldn't commit in the past, but I can commit now because I've dealt with whatever it is. And now there's the question of 
pulling your resources together to follow it through. But it would seem here that you, you're taking responsibility, you're inheriting responsibility, you're in this okay, let's take it of one day at a time. Star card. The universe is giving you exactly what you've wished for. I'm getting a yes to the decision you've made. Is it the right one? This is the universe wants you to go for the time being. Hangman. Mm. Ace of Wands. Nine. Everything's coming to a head. Yeah. Pulling your resources. Cooperation. Where there's been a lot of static energy between you to a lot of erratic energy, it's now getting focus. Taking responsibility for your actions. Okay, I'm getting here with you. There's this there's this self-sacrificial energy here. Letting go of certain situation. At least the truth's coming out. Letting go of a lot of inhibitions here. Nine of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Three of Wands. Actually acting. Just let me get rid of this. Sorry for the movement in the thing. The the computer's on a, on a stand and it does have a tendency to rock, so I'll try and keep away from it. Okay, we we have got a bit of the moon energy here. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of intuition there, but it's okay. How do I bring my dreams into reality? There's certainly a lot of coercion and persuasion. But what I'm getting is you're being very well reserved. Doesn't matter how much coercion or persuasion somebody puts on you, you're still going to make your own mind up. Mm -hmm. You know, there is this kind of energy. Well, hang on a minute. Don't be in such a hurry. I've got to handle this, this, and this situation and this situation first. I can't just leave this situation unattended. It's like metaphorically leaving a horse to and not tethering it in the hope that it'll just stay there. You know, you can't, there's something here you can't possibly leave. You must deal with it first and then you'll act. But you are in this energy of, yeah, starting from scratch. Temperance. Yeah. Sagittarius energy, if you want to put a Sagittarius Aries energy, if somebody is kind of really strong energy. Mm, there is relocation here. Yeah, finally getting the chance to be in a place you want. This person really wants to make it work. They're really bringing th something substantial to the table. This is all about working things out. You know, I'm going for se from a s four to a seven to a nine of pentacles to a ten of pentacles. This is, there's definite practical changes here in your life and ended up perhaps relocating and ending up in a place you feel totally comfortable. Yeah. Very intense relationship being with a soulmate. They certainly want to come in. There's certainly this, oh yeah, knight of swords. Empress. Eight of Wands, they're certainly committed. They're certainly hell bent on, you know, persuading you. Not necessarily dictation, but trying to coerce you. But you're resisting because of your you're being the one that's grounded. You perhaps realise this person is, fa you know, fantasising, taking off more than they can chew, and it's going to take a long time to sort it out. Mm, somebody around you is not thinking straight from your perspective. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. King of Cups. Yeah, making a decision. There is this energy you do feel you're playing more the supporting role. And you kind of want recognition in your own right. That's what this is all about. Two of Cups. Making that final decision. Making it work. In fact, I'm going to name this video. Making it work. 
Knight of Cups, Chariot, Eight of Swords, unstick in a stuck situation. You're no longer keeping yourself in a stagnant situation and you are willing to follow it through. It's taken a lot of strength and courage, a lot of determination, but I'm kind of getting this energy, plucking up the courage to actually follow it through and actually do it. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.